Growing up in Dubai, eating the same food as our family was eating in India was the one way for us to keep that connection alive. So we have a ton of family recipes. And I, you know, have a little trepidation about giving them away. <laughs> The best family recipe that I make is tandoori chicken. It's a classic Indian dish. You can find it at every Indian restaurant. And this is a hallowed recipe in the Sequera household. I remember one time I made it, and this is the best thing anyone could say to me. They were like, this is so much better than at the restaurant. Tandoori chicken is usually cooked in a tandoor, which is a clay oven that gets really, really hot. And it's usually chunks of meat that are marinated in yogurt and spices. And everybody's tandoori chicken recipe is a little different. And my mom's is kind of the best on the block. It's good. It's so good. All you need in order to make tandoori chicken is a spice grinder, an oven, and a bunch of spices. So I'm starting with two of these. These are guajillo chilies, which are kind of smoky, give it great color and flavor. But if you can't find that, you can use some dried red chilies, some chilies de arbol will be fine. If you use chilies de arbol, then use a lot of paprika to make up for that color. Then it's onto this whole slew of spices, so follow along. I've got some fenugreek seeds. These are so beautiful and kind of mapley flavored, so I need half a teaspoon of these. Some fennel seeds, beautiful green ones slightly licorice -y. a teaspoon of coriander seeds, nice and lemony, two different kinds of cardamom, and if you've ever had chai tea, you have had cardamom, because that's a big, old flavor component. If you just crush it, get all the seeds out, because that's where the flavor is. And then it's cousin black cardamom, which is kind of the bigger, badder version of it. Oh, it smells really smoky. It almost smells like, you know, a barbecue pit or something. Final little bit of cloves, four or five of them. I throw all these spices into a pan and just toast them, shaking the pan so they don't burn. And this wakes them up because they're kind of asleep. So you need to get all those oils moving around. Just until I can really smell them and they're slightly smoking. And then I pour all of that into a spice grinder and just let it rip. It's a lot. It can seem intimidating. But just make a huge batch and then you'll always have it on hand. And you know what? I've made the tandoori spice mix as Christmas presents, and people love it. Then I make the marinade. This is so traditional in tandoori cooking that we marinate the meat in yogurt so it breaks down, gets really tender. So I'm starting with a few more spices in the yogurt. I know, I know, but it's really worth it. I've got a little bit of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, and just the tiniest little bit of cayenne pepper for a little heat. Some salt some malt vinegar. If you don't have this, you can use some lime juice. And then a quarter cup of vegetable oil or canola oil. And then I add the spice mixture and some ginger and some garlic, and that's the marinade. It smells just like mom's. Now for the chicken. So I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I like the thighs because they have more flavor and they stay moist when you put them under that boiler. And then my little trick is that I prick it. That means all the flavor will go all the way through the meat. And then I'm gonna let this marinate overnight, preferably at least a couple of hours if you don't have that much time. The next day, I pull them out of the marinade. I put them on a sheet pan and I put them under the broiler and I let them cook like 10 minutes until they're nice and charred. And then it's not fully authentic, but I like to serve my tandoori chicken with a sauce. So I reserve some of that marinade and I cook it in a pan with some water and some honey just to round out some of those spicy flavors. And then I pour that over the top when the chicken is done. It's so good. So I've invited my friends Karen and Ross and of course my husband Brendan to eat. And I serve it with potato salad, perfect foil for that chicken. I've had some good chicken in my life. This is good. Every bite of chicken that you put in your mouth, you can taste all the different spices that were in there kind of smoky, flowery, nutty. Sweet, but also salty. Mm -hmm. It's a nice combination. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you've grilled it, so it has that great char. This is one of the first things RT made for me when she cooked for me for the first time. Yeah. This is her equivalent of my romantic poetry. <laughs> <laughs>
It's so good. And while mine comes really close, it's still missing that little mum magic, you know? <laughs> but it's pretty close.